Shalom. Let to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Pa Hashem Yahushai, Pa Hashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short video in regards to the plagues that's upon Egypt, you know, which is modern day America. You know, um, we're in modern day Egypt, you know, we're, let's get revelation. Um, 11 and then Deuteronomy 28 I'm just going to be flowing in the spirit You know that when the Rock HaKodash permits Revelation 11 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city So we're our people, you know the two-thirds of our people here in uh, America They're uh, destroyed because they don't know who they are we're the only ones who is living. The elect is living. You know, Ezekiel 37. You know, the dry bones is living now. All right. But, um, you know, the two thirds of our people, they're spiritually dead. You know, and we're in this great city. You know, we're citizens of this great city of America. You know, um, you know, all that mystery Babylon. You know, the mother of harlots. You know, Isaiah 47. You know, and um, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, right? So um, this place they promote, you know, um, you know, incest, um, you know, homos. I can't even say it because they might think, but you know, they talk up, you know, they're doing everything, you know, things that's contrary to the heavenly Father and His Son, all right? And just like how uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. And the other three uh, cities as well, you know, over there in the by the Dead Sea, you know, they were uh, all destroyed, you know, because those were the Hamites, you know, and basically um, they were into, uh, you know, the alternative way of life, right, which is against uh, against nature, you know, and um, they were destroyed, right. Uh, only Lot, you know, and his uh, only Lot and um, his two daughters was saved. You know, his wife, you know, she turned back. All right, she became a pillar of salt, which is called Sodom in Egypt. Right, so um, you know, Washington D.C. They have this, um, you know, they have um, the phallic symbol over there. You know, Washington D.C. Um, they have uh, the pyramid over there in you know Memphis. You know, I think that's uh, one of their casinos. You know, um, you know this shows you that this place is spiritually called Sp Sodom in Egypt, and and we're in Egypt all over again. You know, we were sold into uh, you know slavery. You know. Through, uh, you know, cargo slave ships, you know. And uh, the dollar bill has that. The dollar bill has the, um, you know, the I C and the all C and I of, um, of Horus or Ra, you know, these people, they're uh, sun worshippers and all that. But uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again into with ships by the way I have spake unto thee that thou shalt see it no more again and there sh you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen and no man shall buy you. All right. So we're, uh, you know, our people were here, you know, over here in the, uh, you know, in uh, the America. In the Americas, but especially America, you know, which is uh, spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. We're in this Egypt, you know. You know, you have a one dollar bill, you're going to see uh, the pyramid. The all see in that. But um, this is just going to be a short lesson. I'm going to just play this because there's plagues, you know. That's being brought um, 
let's get it all right there's um uh, you get when you read exodus 8 uh, also exodus chapter 9 and exodus 10 there's been lord send many plagues you know upon the egyptians all right and um you know and this place is going down even worse right and um there's gonna be more plagues so uh you know um like how egypt you know was plagued you know the plagues of frogs the plagues of lice the plagues of flies the plagues of cattle all right the plagues of of of, of uh, boils the plagues of hail it says the the uh it says the plagues of locusts all right the plagues of uh dark darkness you know the lord he he caused uh, you know he caused darkness you know upon the egyptians and uh that's why there's gonna be uh we're approaching the pa we're in the passover right now all right and um you know, we know that things is going to get a lot more intense. You know, Yahweh Shah is going to, he's going to do a lot of uh, work, man. He's doing a lot of work, man. See what happening over there in Turkey and uh, Syria and that region. You know, you know, a lot of over 2 million people has been displaced, man. So there's all kind of things happening, man. So um, let's play this. This is uh, for educational cap. This is for educational purposes. All right. Let's play. Remember, guys, this is the way of life. This is uh, this is how it is. This is a uh, way of life. Absolutely. If you want to think this is the way of life, then uh, you have a very grim outlook on life. Um, the way of life should be everything living, enjoying life. But that's a sheep's head. That's a hardy fish right there. Lots of them out here. And the smell is fucking terrible. So, this is a wake up call for everybody. Time to wake up. Yeah, so, uh, yes, it's, it is time to wake all the sleep, man, because um, we know for the spring, especially for the, the summer, man, you know, people that's, you know, who's going to be on the water here in, uh, in, uh, in Ontario, you know. There is going to, especially here in uh, Lake Ontario, you know, uh, all these other lakes up here, you know, it, you're going to have people that's going to be on their boat or their uh, kayak and, you know, moving around. But there's going to be a whole bunch of plagues, you know, and uh, I believe last year, last or two years ago, you know, um, you know, like the rivers was, was turning red. You know, um, I think it was it was somewhere in Ontario. I believe it was um, Toronto. I think it was um, it wasn't Lake Ontario, but it was one of their that that one of the rivers. You know, was turning red. You know, and there's been all kind of uh, lakes or rivers turning red. So, uh, you know, so Yahweh Shai, man, he's gonna be he's gonna show his uh, power. So we got to um, stay in the spirit, stay in, stay in tune. Because, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai, man, he's coming, man. And um, so uh, we're in the Passover, man. This is a solemn feast. You know, there's a lot of death, man. You know, um, all of Pharaoh's firstborn was died. You know, so this is the, 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 like Yahweh Shai, you know, coming again, you know, and, uh, you know, so there's going to be a lot of judgment, man, during this time of the Passover. So, uh, you know, Jeremiah 16, verse 14, therefore, behold, the day is coming, said the Lord, that shall no more be said. The Lord live that bring brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right. So. You know, when we're in the uh, Egyptian captivity, you know, under the Hamites, you know, by the Egyptians, you know, the sons of Mizraim, you know, we were in captivity for 435 years. All right. But he, uh, you know, he brought us out of that. All right. 
and uh, he, he uh, you know, Moses, um, you know, he parted, he, he, like, he parted the sea, you know, the Strait of uh, Hormuz, and uh, we were able to, uh, you know, our people was able to go through, all right, and um, the Egyptian and his and his army, you know, they they, they drowned, all right. So, uh, you know, but you know, just how, uh, you know, the Lord he like he saved us. He did a, he he did a miraculous thing. But our people, our people was uh, our people was murmuring against Moses. You know, that like they want to go back to Egypt. You know, um, you know, you know, when Moses was up on, uh, you know, Mount, you know, like Mount Sinai, you know, he was sitting down, you know, and speaking to the, you know, to the, um, you know, like to, like, uh, like to the Lord, you know, you know, like our people, uh, our people built, uh, you know, a place of, uh, you know, of, uh, of uh, of um like they're worshiping the bull all right and basically uh when moses when he uh was up on he's up on the mount for 40 days and he came down all right and um you know our people was uh our people was worshiping the golden calf all right so uh, moses he, he like he uh he broke you know those you know like those scrolls or those uh uh tablets you know of you know the ten commandments he broke them all right and uh you know yeah how was shy you um you know um moses he went up to the mount with where um where your was shy was and um you know and basically um let's get it I don't wanna butch it, but um, I think it's a because our people are our people were un ungrateful, man. All right, because the Lord he did he did the you know he he caused a great destruction you know against these Egyptians and all that. One second. Yeah, so this is um, in regards to uh, like the golden calf, all right? Because our people, they seen the wonders, you know how uh, how they were delivered, you know through the Red Sea, you know. But um, we're gonna read it, all right? Because. Uh, you know we're approaching we're in the passover and then uh lord's will lord's will this you know this is gonna be uh our last uh passover lord's will you know you know so um lord's will we uh you know like we see the kingdom you know you know as uh, members of the of the hopeful elect you know but uh this is exodus 22 So I'm just flowing in the spirit Exodus 22 and uh, verse 12 Exodus 22 verse uh, 12 And the Lord and the Lord said unto Moses come up to me into a mount into the mount and be there and i will give the table of stones and the law and commandment which i which i have written that thou mayest teach them and moses moses rose up all right because our people um our people were following the way of uh, the Egyptian way of life, you know, but uh, Moses, you know, he was the lawgiver. He was a Levite, you know, and uh, he was teaching our people, you know, he was, you know, like Moses was set up, you know, to teach, you know, the Israelites 
about the other law, you know, and uh, you know, and our covenant and Allah, all right, laya, which means uh, join to me, you know, lawyer or laya or lawyer, all right. This whole uh, court system, you know, is uh, is set up, you know, you know, for um, uh, you know, this whole court system was set up, you know, by the Israelites, all right. You know, because we're the uh, the lawgivers, you know, and the law and the commandment which I have written. That thou mayest teach them. And Moses rose up and his minister Joshua. And Moses went up into the mount of of Mount of uh, Yahweh. And he said unto the elders, Tarry tarry ye here for us until we come again unto you. And behold, Aaron and her are with you, and I have me. And if any man have any matter to you, let him come unto 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 them. All right. So you know. So yeah. How was you know? So uh, you know that heavenly. You know, um, that yeah. How you know through yeah. How shy? You know he was setting up an order. All right, and uh. You know he was in the cloud you know he was in the chariot you know um you know and uh you know and was setting up order you know so uh and moses went up into the mount and the cloud covered the mount all right so uh the the chariot was up upon the mount all right so it was a big cloud a big chariot all right what they would call uh ufos all right or unidentified uh, flying object and the glory of the Lord abode upon the Mount Sinai and the cloud covered it six days and the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud and in the sight of the glory of the Lord he he was like devoured fire on the top of the Mount in the eyes of the children of israel all right and moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him into the mount and moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights so they seen you know so they seen the glory you know of yahweh shai you know but you know but you see what our people did our people uh even after that whole you know that whole like victory you know our people went into idolatry our people went back into their that whole egyptian way of life all right exodus uh 32 the golden calf exodus 22 uh verse 1 and when the people saw the moses like delayed to come down out of the mount. It says the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up and what us and make us gods which shall go before us for as for as uh, for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt we vote not what is become of him all right so they were talking shit you know so it showed you it showed you who the israelites are man all right we're the same stiff neck rebellious people man all right the two-thirds man and they're back in their lap you know and then you know like even um you know like you guys calling yourself israelites you like you guys are back in your lap right because it's all money for them these people uh these people just want money these people don't uh, care about the flat man and aaron said unto them break break of the golden heirs earnings saga 
And uh, Aaron said unto them, Break, break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, or of your daughters, and bring them unto me. All right. So Aaron, you know, he went off. All right, because um, there are so many of them. You know, so he, uh, you know, he, he like he backslid, all right, and uh, and all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them onto Aaron and he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a, a graven tool and after he had made it a, a molded calf and they said these be thy powers O Israel which are brought brought the up out of the land of Egypt. All right, so our, our people, you know, our people are worshiping the golden calf again, you know, by worshiping uh, the whole MOTB, you know, the MOTB system, the CHIP system, which, uh, you know, these Edomites, you know, is, uh, is implemented throughout the world. You see what's going on in um, Nigeria right now, you know, you know, like Nigeria is going is a cashless society, you know, people want to get their money, you know, but they're not able to go in that like they're not able to get their finances or nothing. You know, people are trying to break into the bank, you know, and, um, you know, and that what's going to be uh, the thing that's going to come to the rescue is going to be the CHIP, all right? With this whole central digital system, all right, the central digital system, all right, which is um, you know th th that's already set up, all right, and um, this is what's gonna be happening, you know, throughout the world, you know, like Nigeria is a big uh, a big test run, you know, and Nigeria they have a you know a lot like their uh their governments you know like they're uh, like like they're a part of this new world order all right this nwo you know, the nigerians you know and um you know and all these like all these global like uh, like all these global governments right because who runs the banks all right the zionists right and if you and you can't say nothing about these people you know, it, it, it like, but they're the ones uh, are uh, are above. You know, like they're the ones who's uh, who's calling the shots. You know, like who are the bankers? All right, the small hats, man. But um, you know, just like how the you know, our people were doing, like how right now our people right now is going is worshiping the golden image. All right. The gold that now this whole new golden image is going to be the see it, man. You won't be able to buy or sell. And uh, when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow it is a feast to the Lord. So he, you know, he was completely like he was going to, you know, because, you know. Because Moses was, you know, he was he was in the mount, you know, for the 40 days. So, you know, Aaron, you know, he, uh, he like, he wasn't, he was just, you know, doing his own thing, you know, basically, you know. You know, because, you know, our people, man, our, our, our people don't, our people don't have faith, you know. So the Israelites, you know during that time you know like they didn't have no faith man you know and they uh were worshiping you know all kind of different images man all right and they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings and the people sat down to eat and to drink and to rose up and play all right so this is uh aaron all right the sons of aaron you know and the Lord saw, said unto Moses, Go get thee down, for the for thy people which thou brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Yeah, 
you know, just like how, uh, you know, when the Lord, you know, when he delivered us out of Egypt, man, you know, you know, he was, he was, uh, he's, he was vexed, right? He was pissed off, you know, as to, as to how, you know, like, you know, the, 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 like, the, he did so many wonders, you know, you see what happened, you know, like all the, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, the firstborn, you know, of the Egyptian died, you know, plagues of locusts, of cattle, flies, you know, the plagues of darkness, like there were so many different plagues, but they still didn't have faith. And that's what's going to happen again, man. So that's why Yahweh Shai is going to bring more plagues upon, upon Egypt, all right? upon america all right because uh we're we're we, because now we're in spiritual egypt we're in like we're in egypt 2.0 you know all right but we're gonna read about what happened you know there you know when the israelites was in egypt the lord said unto moses go get thee down for thy people which thou has brought out of the land of egypt have corrupted themselves they have turned aside quickly out of the way which i commanded thee they have made the, them a molten molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed their 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 unto unto and said these be thy gods O Israel, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. All right, I was just watching um, a couple of days ago. There was a thing with one of the these rappers. Uh, I think Lil Nas or Little the Uzi, whatever the I can't I, I I forget these guys' names, you know. But he's telling his, he's telling the people in the crowd, you know. In one of his lyrics, he's saying like worship Satan, worship Satan. So it just shows you, you know, that these guys are all, uh, they're all insiders, you know, and uh, they're all, you know, like they're low level, you know, they're not really uh, on high level, but they're just uh, puppets, you know, for this whole uh, NWO agenda and um, to keep our people asleep, not knowing who they are. They have turned it aside quickly out of the way which I which I commanded thee. They have made them them a molten a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed thereunto and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seeing this people and behold it is a stiff neck people all right there's no one stiff neck there's no one more stiff neck you know that there's no it's like a, there's no one more stiff neck you know like, like than uh like you so called like you so called negroes west indians and latinos man you native american there's no especially you know our people judah man are the house of Judah, man. Our people are stiff neck, man. You know. All right. I think um, Hosea four, four and uh, twelve. Um. You no, know, because our people are very. Our people are stiff neck, man. I think it's Hosea. Um. I can't remember the scripture. Like okay. yeah. Just flowing in the spirit. I think it's Hosea 4 and uh, Hosea 4 and verse. Uh, yeah, Hosea 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I have. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest unto me like how Aaron. All right, the sons of Aaron, you know, they were uh, like our people are worshiping the golden image. All right, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, 
seeing that thou hast forgotten thy law of thy power and i will also first forget thy children and, and basically i'm like that's why yahweh shy you know he's judging he's judging the tribe of levi you know over over their dominican slack over there in haiti not even the like the dr all right it's a small it's a big island it's a it's a little island but you know you have the spanish on on the other side then you have the french right and uh you know when you get genesis uh 49 but um get that after and the lord said unto moses i will i have seen this people beheld it is a stiff-necked people now therefore therefore let me alone that my wrath may be wax hot against them against them and that i may consume them and i will make make of thee a great nation so the lord you know that he's gonna get rid of them man all right and he's gonna just do a di whole different reset all right but um you know so let's read you know and the moses besought the the lord his people and said the lord and said lord why doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people which thou hast brought forth out of the land of egypt with with a great power and with a mighty hand right so our you know so you know like moses he's trying to entreat you know you know like for uh our people you know all that back then all right wherefore should the so the egyptians speak and say for it said for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountain and to consume them from the face of the earth turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people remember abraham isaac and israel thy servant to whom thou hast sworn by thy own self and said this unto them I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and and all all this land that thou that that I have spoken of of will I have that I will give unto their your seeds and uh, they shall inherit it forever all right so this is why you know of that Moses Masha you know which means drawn out you know that this is why he was uh you know he's entreating you know for the you know for the israelites right but that's why we know that yahweh shai you know he's only looking for 144,000 good men 12,000 men of the east tribe you know and uh and the one third you know because uh you know that's what it is man because uh not all israel is going to be saved man you know the elect is going to be saved right but you know the, the, the lord's gonna he's gonna do a, a a spring cleaning he's gonna do a house cleaning you know but um there's more on it but let me get back um jeremiah this is just uh, in the spirit, flowing in the spirit. Thank God. Is it Jeremiah 16? Yeah, Jeremiah 16, verse uh, 14. Therefore, behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north. So, so aren't we in the north now? All right, that like we were just reading about the Egyptians, right? About and like how they were destroyed, right? And uh, the and the Lord, He would deliver us, you know, like He deliver us, you know, from that destruction, man, you know, on that back then, right? But our people, they still rebelled against the Lord, you know. But you know, but the Lord, He was, um, you know he was he was vexed right because our people were worshiping the golden calf and golden image you know but um just because that you know that because that covenant 
you know that abraham isaac and jacob made for uh you know for him for them you know he you know he it was a, a covenant you know and basically uh yahweh you know he's uh he has a covenant that he has to uh, he's gonna give to his elect you know where the law is gonna be in them you know uh hebrews 8 all right where the law is gonna be in us man but the lord liveth that brought the children of israel up from the land of the north north america and from all the land whether ye have driven them so we're we're, we're scattered throughout the whole entire globe man the you know you israelites all right all right because we there there's so many uh israelites scattered man throughout the world it's a you know it's a diaspora we're living on the diaspora man you know some of our people they're gonna look like they're uh they're chinese you know uh indian you know the cities you know they call them city people or um you know there's a you know our our spirit bear witness man so um there's been a lot of history there's a you know like these uh world governments know exactly you know who uh who our people are they call it like our people look our people over there in india they call them the untouchables all right so um from all the land whether ye have driven them and i will bring them again into their land that i gave unto their fathers all right so this is where we're approaching man you know we're gonna inherit that land you know the land of israel all right the promised land all right and uh we're gonna rule that that land you know and uh that land's gonna you know there's gonna be uh i was gonna say more but i don't i just wanna just uh just wanna just um just drive it the point home you know we're gonna inherit that land and we're gonna rule we're gonna have dominion you know they're gonna have to um because after that war there's gonna be bare destruction over there in the valley of Jehoshaphat. fat we see what's happening right now over there in turkey and syria right so um so you know there's gonna be uh you know the third world third world war you know and ultimately um uh, this place is gonna be uh obsolete you know in america you know um you know with the icbms the intercontinent intercontinental ballistic missiles you know that go from uh you know from uh, one side of the earth to another and that place is going to be co completely uh destroyed man havoc all right and uh you know and this is all scriptures man all all prophecy man um behold i will set i will send for many fishers save the lord and they shall fish them so we're fishing them you know with a hook you know and uh but you know we see what's going on man um this good they, 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 they like you won't you know because the, the the apostles you know their apostles you know king masha um aria you know all the yaikwab and um abba bivins you know you know like they've been out there fishing right and um now this time for the reaper right so we know that yahweh shy he's gonna come man and um and after i will send for many hunters and they shall hunt them so you know when yahweh shy comes with the elect you know we're gonna you know that like we're gonna gather them up you know and um and that's what's gonna happen man all right because you know because these people these are these elites you know are gonna be hiding you know in these bunkers you know they might be in a, they might have a yacht or whatever but they're gonna be hiding man they might be up in uh in, in um 
you know, they, like they might have a, 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 like a spaceship to try hide. You know, they're not going to have nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, man. Because it's going to be the time of their judgment, man. And we're approaching these times. Um, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if I, you know, if I'm ranting or whatever, I'm not even, you know, just flowing in the spirit. So hopefully, hopefully this was uh, <coughs> edifying. So with that, let us say all praise to do and see our Bashim Yashai, Bashim Yashai, the bunch of the apostles of great millstone shower.